Hello world, this is Random Fix. In this video today, we're gonna see if the CRC guaranteed to pass emission system cleaner is gonna make any sort of difference on a vehicle that's never had any of these additives added into there. So we're gonna do a baseline test and see what happens. And then we'll go and put this in the tank and see if it makes any difference. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So in this video today, we are gonna be trying this out. So I got myself an OBD2 reader right here. I'm gonna go and connect it to the vehicle. Getting your drive cycle completed, it's kind of like this game here of whack the mole, except this is the minion version. Is the whole idea is to get all the different monitors ready. So this might be your oxygen sensor monitor, this might be oxygen sensor heater monitor, this might be the catalyst monitor, this might be the EVAP monitor, and we could have the EGR monitor and some secondary air injection monitor. So you want to get all these monitors ready, and once all these monitors are ready, go ahead and get your vehicle smogged. We're going to reset the drive cycle information and once we reset the drive cycle information i'm going to see how long it takes for the catalyst monitor to get ready that's the monitor that people most oftentimes talk about and it's very expensive to replace especially if you live in a state like california where you could spend sometimes upwards of two three four thousand dollars just for catalytic converters for the vehicle in this video we're going to be trying it on this hyundai accent and the monitor that i'm looking for to see if it gets set any faster is going to be the catalyst monitor so i'm going to do a baseline test and once the baseline test is done without the additives and we know how long it normally takes for the monitor to set i will drive the same route in similar weather conditions every time as we can see right here, all the drive monitors are ready. I'm going to go ahead and delete the drive monitors here. There we go. We are deleting the drive monitor information. And we can see now the monitors that we are most focused on are not ready, which is going to be the catalyst. And we'll keep an eye on the oxygen sensor monitor as well right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and let the vehicle idle for 10 minutes to warm up. Each time I do this, the conditions will be the same. The AC will be off. And while we're waiting for the vehicle to warm up, let's take a look at what the box claims. It claims it'll restore performance, reduce emissions. On the emissions, I'm actually concerned about the monitors for the catalyst and the oxygen sensor mainly, and it saves gas. So I've gone ahead and reset the trip meter to zero, reset the gas economy rating. So that's done. And it claims that it'll clean your intake valve and your combustion chamber. And we can talk a little bit more about this. And now it's going to be 10.01. So let's hit the road and see what happens. And this OBD2 reader right here will automatically update any time the monitors get ready. And I'll keep you guys posted. Hey guys, so it's been less than... 2.5 miles and the monitors for the oxygen sensor are not ready but the catalyst monitor did get ready right away this is really surprising and yeah i have not seen a car get ready this quick and we'll try and see how long it's going to take for the oxygen sensor and monitor to set then we'll retry the same test here with the guarantee to pass in the tank and see if it makes any sort of difference and i'll keep the conditions the driving speed similar AC is off so here we're at 22.1 miles and all the monitors have set everything's green I just wanted to point out really quick the importance of warming up your vehicle I'm on trip B here and it's been 9.7 miles and last time the catalyst monitor got ready in 2.5 miles this time we are still not ready at almost 10 miles so warming up the vehicle for the 10 minutes really does make a huge difference as far as getting the catalyst monitor ready we can see that this time all the other monitors are actually set however the one that's really costly and time consuming the catalyst monitor is not ready now we're at 37.9 miles and the catalyst monitor is still not 
not ready. So this is very interesting. And we got some sort of pending code. So we'll take a look at this. So we got back to the house. Catalyst monitor still not ready. And let me see what this pending code is now for. OMG, look, there's actually a pending code for a P420, guys. This car did not have this issue. And this is with regular gasoline. Again, I have not thrown in this CRC guarantee to pass. It's like this video was meant to be, guys. <laughs> I'm so excited to do this now. Okay, this is cool. Let's go and make a new baseline and to see if that monitor can get ready faster without a warm up and how we can avoid getting this pending code. And I'm using just regular gas and this is gonna be ethanol gas. So it's about 10% ethanol here in California. So make sure if you guys are struggling with the P420 code that you guys check out the pure gas video in the description link down below. And I'm gonna go and reset the drive monitor history here. Car is cooled off. And now we can see that the monitors are loading and we can see that the catalyst monitor is not complete. I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to drive the vehicle. I'm not gonna go ahead and warm it up at all. So let's reset the trip meter here. So the trip meter is set. The car is cooled off, it's after midnight. We're not gonna have any traffic right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and start the car and start driving. And I'm not gonna give the car a chance to really warm up. And let's see what happens. And if you guys remember last time I did this, I did not let the vehicle warm up. And by the time I got home, I had actually thrown off a P420 pending code. So we can go ahead and see if that code is gonna get thrown off again. Or instead, if the monitor for the catalyst is just gonna get ready. So I'm excited to try this out. Hey guys, just wanted to give you an update at 2.5 miles. The catalyst monitor actually got ready. And this is really nice since I did not let the vehicle warm up. And instead of having a pending code for a deficient catalyst, I have a catalyst ready. You guys can see that right there. So, so far looking good. And the oxygen sensor is ready as well in under 3.9 miles. And the only thing that's not ready is gonna be the EVAP system. So that's pretty amazing. My fuel economy is at 29.6 before I added the CRC guaranteed to pass in the fuel tank. Let me go ahead and reset that and we'll see if it makes any difference in the long run. So stay tuned. So this is going to be day two drive cycle with the CRC guaranteed to pass in the fuel tank. I've put on 118 miles since I did my very first drive cycle. And we're going to go ahead and clear this now. I'm going to go and zero out the trip meter here so we can see how well it does. So that's zeroed out. And one thing I did want to mention to you guys is the gas mileage per gallon has increased quite a bit. So stay tuned for final information about that. With the information deleted, the catalyst monitor is incomplete again. Let's go ahead and get this test started. Again, same exact procedure. I'm not gonna warm the car up. And we're gonna see if we get that P420 code again, or if it actually helps the monitor set like it did yesterday. And again, I apologize for the nighttime driving, but this is the only way that I can do over 65 miles an hour when you live in California. It's pretty crazy out here how much traffic we have. Hey guys, check that out. The catalyst monitor is not ready and we got that pending code that reappeared. And let's check out what the actual code is for. In here in California, for $6.50, you're gonna get 10% ethanol in your gasoline. In this beautiful ghetto here. And this rusted fuel pump. There's this really nice stench in the air as well. And it's not just the gasoline. So I'm back here and let's see what caused that pending code. You can see it right there in the orange. And there we go guys, we still have a P420 code. And this is why it's so important to warm up your vehicle. 
If this vehicle was properly warmed up, this code would not appear and the monitor would be ready. Instead, we actually are getting a P420 code. So did the CRC guarantee to pass additive work? On that one, I'm actually gonna go ahead and say no. And I'm gonna keep you guys up to date as far as the fuel economy, because I did see quite a big improvement as far as the MPGs on the vehicle. And after thinking about this for a few days and writing down the results here, I believe that I prejudged the product and I think the CRC guaranteed to pass actually made some sort of difference. How much of a difference it made, that's completely up to you guys. You guys can judge for yourself. So here's a quick little breakdown. This side is gonna be the side without the additive. This side is with the additive. So the very first trip that we did was without the additive. We did a 10 minute warm up. And on that one, we went ahead and got 22.1 miles for the oxygen sensor to set, 22.5 miles for the catalyst to set. On trip B, we actually triggered the check engine light on because there was no warm up and there was no additive. Then after we added the additive with five gallons of fuel, what happened was we actually got some better types here. So we got 3.9 miles instead of 22 miles for the oxygen sensor, 2.5 miles, which was the same as without the additive. And on trip B, without the additive, no warm up. Again, we went ahead and triggered that check engine light. And without the additive, the gas miles was 29.7. With the additive, it was 30.7. Seven, which was an improvement of 3.71%. And my final thoughts about the CRC guaranteed to pass are this. The catalyst monitor and oxygen monitor actually showed slight improvement in getting ready faster. However, for best results, you really need to warm up the vehicle. As much as I want to believe there's going to be a miracle in a bottle, there's not such a thing. So the warm up, even without the additive made more of a difference than the additive itself. So take that for whatever it's worth. And if you guys got any questions, please don't hesitate to comment down below. Hit that subscribe button, smash on that notification button. So anytime I post videos like this, you guys will go ahead and get notified. And below in the links, I'll have a link to the OBD2 reader. And that one is a pretty good one because it lets you know when the monitor actually gets ready. So you're not constantly scanning it over and over. And I'll have links to many other videos that can help you in your emissions related troubles. Make it a great day and thanks again.